Continue keep it clean. Good morning. What's going on? It's St. Graven here with another video. I ain't even getting my full voice yet because I'm not all the way up yet. But somebody else who a lot of people was thought was going to be all the way up uh, when it came to playing this week because he ramped all the way up to being a full participant in practice this week uh, was running back J.K. Dobbins. A lot of people thought that this was going to be his long expected return to the field. Uh, he even talked about it in an interview um, earlier this week, well, last week technically, uh, where he spoke about uh, playing in front of the fans for the first time, in front of the home fans for the first time, because if we remember, which is crazy, he hasn't really gotten to have that experience. Because if you recall, he was drafted in what, uh, 2020? So with him being drafted in 2020, his rookie year was the COVID year. So there were no fans allowed. And then when there were fans allowed, it was only a teeny weeny amount. And then last year, he was expected to be the, the, the lead back and whatnot. But he got injured in that third preseason game. So J.K. hasn't had that full experience of being a Ravens running back yet. He hasn't fully gotten it yet. Um, but it'll come in due time. But uh, Adam Schefter did report this morning that J.K. Dobbins will not be playing. Uh, today uh, in the game against the Miami Dolphins. And let's just read it verbatim. Um, he said, Ravens continue to exercise caution with running back J.K. Dobbins and do not plan to play him today versus the Dolphins per league sources. Yeah, this is why these guys love when players have agents so much so they can get the scoop way before the injury report comes out. When, when the injury report comes out and, and the actives, inactives, they, that comes out an hour and a half before the game. 90 minutes before a kickoff. But if a player got an agent, then these reporters like, yes, I don't need to wait for your little kickoff report, your little 90-minute pre-kickoff report. I got my own school. But anyway, um, so, yeah, J.K. Dobbins, he'll be out. I know there are a lot of uh, frustrated Ravens fans um, hearing that news. Uh, I'm not one of them, though. I'm not. Um, it's, it's week two. Like, think about it. It's literally week two. And I know some. there's a lot of Ravens fans that are like, ah, oh, no, it's okay, J.K. will be fine, da da da, da. And, and hey, he could be. But this is one thing that the Ravens are doing that I, I got no problem with because I was there last year. I, I was there last year when there was no J.K. Dobbins at all. So the fact that we get, we're going to get J.K. Dobbins for week three and moving forward instead of a no J.K. Dobbins for the whole year like last year, I, I'm okay with that. I and mean, I, I think everybody should be too. I understand the frustration because, like, man, J.K. Dobbins, he's huge in our running game, and he would be our best running back since Gus isn't back yet. Uh, and the other guys we got, Mike Davis, <laughs> last week, hopefully that was an anomaly. Uh, he'll, he'll get a chance to rebound this week, though. He'll get an opportunity. Just don't drop the ball. Kenyon Drake, he looked like he just, he, he waiting to break along, and, and with the right blocking, he'll get it eventually. Um, but yeah, man, that's that. Uh, so J.K. Dobbins is out. Um, somebody who there had been a lot of uncertainty on, uh, Marlon Humphrey. He is expected to play. Uh, let's read that report from Ian Rappaport. He says, um, cornerback Marlon Humphrey, with his groin injury, he should play, despite not being 100%. See? Okay. With this. Um, all right. Okay, it's like, like how, how do I explain it? Like, you got Tyreek Hill, you got Jalen Waddle. Um, all right, if, if, he, if he's playing, even if he's not 100%, I just don't want them to make a, a little thing end up being worse from him playing. You know what I mean? Especially a groin injury. Because, I mean, I think, well, ain't Rashad Bateman have a groin injury last year? And he was out, what, like five to six weeks? Uh, and maybe it's some real slight, some real a non-issue maybe it's a, a, a pain tolerance type of thing i don't know i don't know uh, but i just i don't know man i i just don't want them to i don't know let's see but that that worries me a little bit um i mean i'd be worried especially if he didn't play too uh either way i'd be worried if he does play he's hurt don't want to make it worse if he doesn't play then who's gonna play but this, um, this could be a good game, I mean a big game for uh, the rookies Because Brandon Stevens, he might not play Marcus Peters, no clue I, I ain't seen nothing that's like uh, definitive on Marcus Peters yet So with, uh, with Jalen Amore Davis and um, 
and uh, Pepe Williams. Uh, this could be a big game for them. Um, they signed Daryl Worley to the active roster, so he he's there as well. Um, so it'll be Marlon Humphrey. Hopefully, Marcus Peters. We'll see. Uh, and yeah, Kyle Fuller out. Stevens out. Well, most likely. I mean, it ain't confirmed yet, but that's what it's looking like. But hey, we got a game today, and the Ravens take on the Dolphins. Um, I really think on the, in this game, I think it's so important that the offense start off hot early because with your depleted secondary, your depleted defense, let's try to make – they try to make their job easier because it's tough right now. Because, again, a lot of people out. At least Marcus Williams, he playing. Chuck Clark, he playing. Kyle Hamilton, he playing. So, Kyle, Kyle Hamilton might need to look, play a little corner this week or whatnot. But, no, um, just try to make their job easier. Offense got to try to make defense's job easier, especially with how depleted they are. If offense could run it up from jump, and they, they may still have a little bit of rust, a little bit of rust. Shouldn't be as bad as last week, even though Dolphins, you know Dolphins going to bring it on defense. They're going to bring it. Um, but if Ravens could run it up early, score often and early, and just – if they could – especially if they could just build a lead. Oh, man. If they could build a lead, that'd be great. But I just – I got a feeling it's just not going to be that easy. I would love for it to be, though. But um, that would help the defense out so much if they could just really try to force the Dolphins to be one-dimensional as early as you possibly can. Make it to where they can't run the ball. Make it to where if they're running the ball, then they got to be stressing out about time and all that stuff. And I know that wouldn't really happen until later on in the game, but it can start early. Team, keep it clean. I'll see y'all later for the live stream, and we out.